Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll solve one problem based on joint probability distribution. So, so question is given one probability joint probability distribution table is given over here. We need to find the E of X, E of Y, E of XY, covariance of XY and correlation of XY. Okay, so we need to calculate all these things. So, first thing we'll proceed with the normal procedure. First, we'll draw the marginal distribution table marginal distribution table okay so for that what we need to do we need to first take the x and respective p of x correct x and p of x so here what we need to do is that x is this values that is in column so what we need to do is to add the row in order to get p of x for one i need to add this four values so i will get p of one so here one is there so i need to add what row so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 plus 0 0.3 will give me 0 0.6 and again next for two i have to add these four terms four values so i'll get 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 will give me answer as 0 0.4 okay so let us proceed for the y value so y and p of y for y y is in row correct y values are here so i have to add the respective column value so that i'll get that p of whatever value i have suppose i take the first one as 2 minus 2 so I have to add this column. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. That is 0 0.3. Next. Minus 1. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.3. 0 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. 0 0.3 plus 0 is 0 0.3 itself. Now the thing is that if you want to verify whether your answer is correct or not, what we need to do is that just you have to add all these terms. <clears throat> we know that probability should be what? Summation of the probability should be 1. So if I add 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4, I'll get 0, uh, 1, correct? Here 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 1 plus 0 0.3 will give me the answer as 1 itself. So our answer, we can verify by that method also. So let us proceed by taking the expectation. It is nothing but summation of x into p of x, correct? So 1 into 0 0.6 plus 2 into 0 0.6. That is what will be the answer of that. And expectation of x can be also denoted as mu x, okay? So 1 into 0 0.6. So, 0 0.6 plus 1.2 is 1.4, correct? Now, let us further proceed for the next year. E of y, expectation of y, formula is y into p of y, which is equal to, I have to multiply this term and add. So, what will be that? Minus 2 into 0 0.3 plus minus 1 into 0 0.3 plus 4 into 0 0.1 plus 5 into 0 0.3 i will add all these terms and at last what will i get the value so i'll get the value as 1 okay it is not necessary that you should get 1 okay it's regarding the probability some e of x e of y so we calculated e of x and e of y. So let us proceed for calculation of e of x, y. It is nothing but summation of x into y into joint probability of uh, x and y. From the table itself, you can calculate how to do that. Simple. See here. 1, take the value. First, you take one x value. 1 into minus 2 into the joint probability of 1 and minus 2 is 0 0.1. Okay, then 1 into minus 1, again this value. 1 into 4, this value. 1 into 
5 this value add all this then again take 2 2 into minus 2 this value 2 into minus 1 this value like that okay so I'll take 1 into so 1 into minus 2 correct 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.1 join probability plus this is x this is y into join probability that is a thing here x into y then join probability of x and y then again 1 into minus 1 into 0 0.2 plus 1 into 4 into 0 correct then plus 5 into or we can say 1 into 5 into join probability 0 0.3 plus I will take second value x this 2 2 into minus 2 into 0 0.2 now here 2 into minus 2 into this value you have to take then again 2 into minus 1 into 0 0.1 like that you have to go on doing all these values okay then 2 into 4 into 0 0.1 plus 2 into 5 into 0, 0. So after doing all these things, so I'll get the value as what? So I'll get the expectation E of xy, it's 0 0.9. So you have to add all these terms, okay? So I got value of E of E of x, that means expectation of x, expectation of y, expectation of both x y, okay? So let us proceed for calculating the covariance of xy. So let us proceed further. So we need to calculate the covariance of xy. So what will be the formula for that? That is nothing but expectation of xy minus expectation of x into expectation of y. Now the thing here is that, so we have already calculated what all things e of x, this terms all these terms we have calculated and kept okay e of x e y then e of x y expectation of x expectation of y and expectation of both x and y now we have to just substitute these values e of x y will be what 0 0.9 minus e of x is what 1.4 1.4 into e of y is 1 so it's basically 0 0.9 minus 1.4 so that will be minus 0.5 so this will be my covariance answer so moving further to calculate the next part so covariance we got that is minus 0.5 now let us calculate the correlation of x and y so this is nothing but correlation okay don't get confused this is covariance Now, that is go formula is given as covariance of x and y divided by sigma x into sigma y. Now, sigma, what is sigma here? It's nothing but standard deviation. Okay. So, first we need to calculate this both terms. Co standard deviation of x as well as standard deviation of y. We already have this value. So, we need to calculate only these two parts. So, that we will get correlation. So, let us do that first. So, Sigma x, the formula is summation of x square, x is the, so x square, p of x minus mu x, mu x, then that square you have to take, okay. For sigma y, it is summation of y square into p of y minus mu y square. Okay, so this is the two formulas. Now the thing here is that here what we need to do is that this is nothing but what formula? This is the formula for variance. No, the standard deviation is nothing but what? When I do this square, I'll get what? Variance. So we have to do this square that is variance. If you want the sigma x, then you have to take the under root of this. That is the point here. Okay, so this is nothing but what? Variance. Okay, so let us 
try to understand by doing the problem itself so sigma x square not sigma x standard deviation for x square okay summation of x square into p of x now what is x square here you have to see this part okay x square x value i have to square one square will be what one into p of x 0 0.6 correct plus 2 square 4 into p of x 0 0.4 now adding all this i will get the value as what so sigma x square i have to do so this i will get 2.2 .2, okay now i have to subtract what i have to subtract this term correct so mu x square what is mu x square we have already got the value of e of x expectation x is denoted as mu x also basically we have to do the square of that so minus 1.4 square okay so 2.2 .2, what is this actually this is a e of x okay square basically square that is mu x square so first add all this then you subtract this okay don't do direct subtraction from here itself so first add all this then subtract now this value will be around 0.24 okay so if i want sigma x then i have to do the square root of 0.24 correct which will give me the answer as 0.49 okay so let us proceed further to calculate what sigma y now sigma y square will be what summation of y square into p of y minus mu x y square correct this is for y so it's basically y square now we already have the value of sigma x that is 0.49 we have calculated okay now we are proceeding with the sigma y square now it is something but see here y terms are there you have to square this minus 2 square will be what 4 into p of x 0.3 plus 1 square minus 1 square will be 1 into 0.3 correct plus 4 square is 16 into 0.1 plus 5 square is 25 into 0.3 from all these terms i will first calculate this then i will take this okay so what will be the value of all these terms it will be 10.6 i have to subtract from here this mu y square this is mu y that is one so one square this is basically e y square okay 10.1 minus one is nothing but what 10.6 minus 1 is 9.6 this is my sigma y square now sigma y will be what under root of 9.6 that is nothing but 3.1 so we have the value sigma x and sigma y now we have to further move further for the calculation of correlation now the calculation of correlation the formula i have already written so it's nothing but covariance of x and y divided by sigma x into sigma y now we have covariance of this thing that is point minus point 0.5 by divided by sigma x what is sigma x here this and sigma y is this so 0 0.49 into 3.1 so what will be the value of this this i'll get it as minus 0.3 so this will be my value so we have calculated all the required answers okay for the respective questions